back again. Hey, just playing with uh, analysis services today. I haven't had this adventure work stuff out there. Haven't touched this in a while. I figured I'd go ahead and give this a shot. I'm just running this query here. I see the numbers for the southeast. I'm wondering how the northwest is doing. So I'm going to change my MDX query. Run that. Get the data. Hey, you know what you could do? You could probably, you know, like export this data then and, and bring it into Click or something. You know that is unless you like wanted to just run your MDX queries right out of Click. I mean, that that's always an option. Um, what? You, you didn't know you could do that? Oh, come on. Let me show you. All I literally do is take my MDX query. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come down to Click. I'm going to create a brand new connection here. So I'm going to go out here. I'm going to say it's OLEDB. And I'm just going to browse down through here. If I can browse slowly enough, I'm going to pick analysis services. So I happen to be running SQL Server 2016 on my box. I'm going to pick analysis services. I need to give it the server name. And if I could type all these zeros the correct way, I just give it Windows Security. I'm going to test it, tell it to go load the databases. Then I'm going to pick this um, AdventureWorks cube that I've got out there. I could give this a fancier name, but hey, this is just a demo video. I'm simply going to tell it to do the lib. I could go through a wizard if I want want to use a wizard, but I, I'm not going to. I'm going to show you just how easy this really is. So I'm going to call my table cube. I'm just going to say I want to load everything. And I'm going to say SQL. And I'm literally just going to paste that statement in directly out of my MDX cube stuff. I post this in here. And if I were to bring this up in a data model viewer, I'm going to go ahead and preview this table and show you the data. And you notice we got exactly the same data there. Well, that's great. Can you change it? Yeah, there, there's nothing hidden here. I can just remove this. Say, hey, I don't want the filters on, on that year. I want to get all years. Or I could go and just change the territory I want. If I could type today. I could change the territory I want. I go run that data, and guess what? I've now got the data for the Southwest instead. It's just that easy, folks. Anything that you can do with MDX and your OLAP stuff, you can do out of click. All you do is literally paste that MDX query in there. So anything that you can do, any syntax, any ways that you want to relate to it, of course I've got to give you the slogan. Just bring all the data in and let us aggregate it for you. But there are times you've got an awful lot of work done. You just want to see numbers. You just want to validate something. Maybe you just want to check the numbers and maybe be able to roll through these. There's no reason that you couldn't change these statements to use variables the same as you change any other SQL statement. And then keep going back to hitting that cube live. Hey. Have a great day. I, I haven't I haven't rolled out my analysis services in a long time. I'm I'm having a lot of fun here today. I gotta figure out some really cool stuff. Thank you.